everyone and welcome to another video uh thank you guys for watching please consider liking and subscribing if you are enjoying the channel and let's go on with the video so for this one i wanted to talk about blue period i have seen all the episodes except for one as of this filming and i've read one volume of the manga i love blue period because i feel like it's relatable to everyone um it's kind of a coming out of age story and a story of finding yourself but it's it's just such a like a practical um view of it i feel like and i really like that like you know i think for most people when you find your passion you have to like like mo what most teenagers face is the practicalities of the economy you know the practicalities of dealing with your family and their expectations um you know the push to do a specific thing like go to college or whatever and then of course something very interesting i think is when you go into like a creative field there is no path forward that's like concrete so you kind of like at least in america get trained in school you know for however many years that you know everything is this step by step by step um situation you know you follow x rules you learn x things and you will get the degree but then when it comes to finding a career i think you know and especially following your passion in a career it doesn't just happen and there's no clearly defined path and that stresses a lot of people out um so you know it's easier to say and there's no right or wrong obviously some people i think genuinely enjoy a field like accounting right where everything is numbers and everything has a right or wrong answer and all that some people really enjoy that and that's great and the cool thing about that field is you do have okay you go to this school then you go to that school then you follow you know you work for x company and you're set which is great and but i do think it, it we don't really have it set up in society where people can be comfortable um and also where people can even have any sort of idea of what their future will look like if they choose a creative field and in fact i don't know about in japan but in america it's it can be even looked down upon by people so i love that blue period shows you know how being in a creative field it isn't like easy you know you, it takes a lot of mental work to come up with new ideas to try to create something that people will like um it takes like like we see in the show it takes a lot of dedication to become an artist and to learn how to express what you want to express in the way that you want to express it and also how to sort of like create something that people will connect to um and i i just think this show is just it's relatable for for i think anyone tr like getting into <laughs> just careers in general but like yeah especially f like getting into a creative field or just following your passion i mean i guess it sounds cliche but like i thought it was it's just such a great show for it's very it's very cathartic um i think so yeah and i just love how it shows you know he's going to this extra school every day he's doing all these extra assignments like so that that was cool i also think that um let me see here character list. ryuju R ryu or ryuju i'm so bad at names guys i'm sorry but her story with her family i thought was just so good and interesting not good like oh i'm happy but you know i think that's a reality that a lot of people face um when choosing a career that is less traditional you know um pe parents worry about oh you know are you gonna be able to make a living you know um or oh that doesn't fit into our expectation of you kind of a thing um and 
yeah, I felt for Ryuju a lot. And that episode with her and Tara, like, was so good when they went to the beach and they were just talking. And I loved that, like, learning about her psychology and why she likes fashion was really cool. And same with him, obviously. Um, I mean, he doesn't like fashion, but learning his psychology. And, I mean, they cover, like, this show's just amazing. Like, it even shows how you can get stressed from pushing yourself really hard, like you want to achieve, you know, X thing, right? You want to create this thing, but maybe like you're dealing with the pressures of society to do all these other things too, or even just school. It can be hard and um, like he scratches and get hot, gets hives and this like stress response and gets sick at the second exam. Like I thought that was cool. It's just cool how it shows also that like, Creating something a lot of the time isn't just like you're born with talent. Like that can happen, but I think for most of us, like the show kind of says, it's more about becoming determined to do something and being passionate about it and then doing whatever it takes to make that a reality. Um, you know, whether that's painting or creating art or writing or creating YouTube videos, you know? Um, so. Yeah, I just, I love this show so much. Um, and I think it's just a very, it's such a, it's such a great show, I think, for anyone to also just in the current system we're in, you know, it's like, I think a lot of people forget to, even as adults, like, let's say you're in a career in, I don't know, um, microbiology or something, you know, and, but you've always really enjoyed cooking like really great dishes you know i think this show helps me remember and i think people remember that you don't need to like lose your passion for something or like you know like like part of what makes life so great is having a passion for something so even if you don't do like what your torah does and try to make it into a career um I think that's a cool lesson from the show, like, right, like, there's the art teacher who literally teaches art, and that's her way of, like, following her passion, so I guess what I'm trying to say is, is I think it's a good show for adults, too, like, people who have been out of school, like me, for, I've been out of even college for, uh, my master's degree I got in 2016, so I've been out for, like, five years, and I still thought it was just so cool how it connects you to yeah, like following your following your passions, right? Like even if it's a side thing, like it's just, hey, five hours a week I'm gonna do what I love, you know? Um, or if it's a career, I just think it's important for people to focus on things beyond the productive, you know? And of course, creating art is productive. Cre creating things, I think, is always productive because you're bringing something new into the world and hopefully even if to me even if my video or my writing or you know for someone else their art whatever connects with one person that like means the world to me you know it's it's just really rewarding and cool and and so i think we dis i don't know we in america the, the culture tends to sometimes discount I think create creative things is just fun but like they can create a lot of value like teaching people about social emotional awareness like um how to feel your feelings or have just having something that people can connect to you know um maybe people are feeling lonely creating something that makes them feel less lonely like there's just so much value I think in creating stuff and that's another thing I think this show you know shows <laughs> um and the show itself creates value i think in the and the manga the one volume i read um i do love seeing too how technical it is with all the art stuff but to me the the greater appeal is someone who um i can appreciate that but i i can't like draw or anything <laughs> um i just appreciate like sort of the growth of progress and i think it's cool too seeing someone like i i don't like necessarily i mean i'm fine with it i'm not saying it's always a bad choice but like showing a character who's already completely progressed or not showing the progress 
can be frustrating. So I love that you can actually see your Torah struggle and your Torah fail because I think you go, oh, like it's okay if I fail or I struggle. I don't have to be perfect because a lot of times I think we look at somebody way farther down the line than us, you know, like uh, maybe like you're writing a book and you look and you go, wow, this published author is publishing books like left and right every week and they're doing a great job. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's a hyperbole, but you know, and I think it's important like to not compare too much, which I think the show also talks about, like focus on your work and your creativity um, and don't try to be someone else because I know it's cliche, but like you, only you can create X thing. Every, you know, everyone else will have a different perspective. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's really cool for that too. I think it's just so important for people to see, especially younger people, but everyone, that we're not perfect. And, and I think if, if it's anything like when I was in school, I remember feeling pressured, like, oh wow, I need to be like this, I don't know, 40 year old adult <laughs> when I'm 18. You know, like, like know exactly what I wanna do, all this stuff. You know, you see, you see the, the future progress. You see all of the work that's been combined over time, but you don't see how they got there. And, and that's another thing I think our society focuses too much on is the end result and not the progress to get there. And so many shows don't focus on the progress to get there. So I think that makes this show beautiful and unique, I think. Um, Ranking of Kings kind of has a similar theme, but which I another reason I'm loving that one. But but you know this one I think has a theme in a way that people can really relate to when it comes to their own work. You know, like even if you're not doing a creative thing, like maybe your passion is, which I would still argue is creative. Honestly, is like let's say you're a car mechanic and that's your passion, like. That still takes, I'm sure, a lot of creativity to figure out how to fix stuff. I know absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> so, sorry if I'm not doing great at explaining this, but that's all I think I have to say about Blue Period now. I might want to do a further analysis in the future about some of the character characters or just sort of a more in-depth analysis, but I kind of just wanted to do a broad one about, you know, progress and psychology and, you know, just creating art because that's really what's drawn me to it the most. Um, and yeah, I've really enjoyed this show. I'm so glad that I discovered it for the fall season because um, I don't know, like, if I hadn't heard about it through, you know, socials and stuff like that, I honestly don't know if I would have picked it up. So I'm really glad I did and I hope you guys have been enjoying it or maybe you're going to pick it up now um, and I highly recommend you do, um, especially if you're, I'd say, looking for inspiration. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.